to work with Olivia Heath on her play, uh, Control Freak. Uh, Olivia's from Mount Abraham Union High School, and uh, I'm. Let's have a look. Thanks. <laughs> Directions. Désolé, uh, uh, mais je ne compris pas. Uh, uh, je ne sais pas uh, where, where you sweep. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> nous sommes dans la rue des Boutonneaux, c'est Nick, uh, uh, Brittany. Ah, uh, oh, sorry, I mean, uh, désolé, uh, je ne parle pas beaucoup de français. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Uh, merci. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think it's fun to mess with tourists sometimes. <laughs> I speak English very well, actually. Uh, My name is Catherine. Uh, and you? James. <laughs> nice to meet you, but uh, I'm supposed to meet with a uh, tour group. <laughs> uh, but I can't find them. It's It's... 10 a.m., so I should be at the, the Dolom de Menezelu. Can I see this? These are all cute, but um, you are not, these are not quite the best things to do here. I can, I can show you around if you like. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I mean, I can't. I really just need to find my group, thanks. Okay, um, I, I suppose I can help you find a domaine de Menelier. How, how? But it's not, it's not close to here. Uh, your tour will have gone by the time you get there. Uh, how about the next one? 10.30, um, wait, th this is a breakfast place, but it's not a good one. <laughs> can you take me there, please? <laughs> you don't want to go to that place. I, I can take you to a nice little cafe instead. Thank you, Catherine, but I'd really just like to get back to where I'm supposed to be, thank you. It will be fun, I promise! Uh, <laughs> I don't do fun. I'm sorry? I, I mean, I just want to have planned fun. I can't just go gallivanting off without knowing what's going to come next. Gallivanting? <laughs> gallivanting. It's like... Like, wandering, but uh, more scary. <laughs> All right then, James. Um, if you feel that way, I, I will bring you to the breakfast. Oh, thank you. Um, um so, uh, Jay, why, why are you here in France? I mean, are you the stereotypical tourist? I, uh, Uh, n no. No one calls me Jay. May I? No. And I'd like to say that I'm not your everyday tourist. I'm really interested in learning more about the... The culture, <sighs> the architecture, the history, language, art. <laughs> My parents, actually. They both grew up here and then moved to the U.S. and met in college. Well, then that explains your extensive French vocabulary. <laughs> they passed away when we were in a car accident, actually. So that would explain that. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry, James. I didn't, I didn't know. It's okay. Really, I was six months old when it happened, and I lost the ability to walk from the impact. So this sweet ride is all I know. But 
I actually had a truly fantastic childhood. A couple of their college friends adopted me soon after and are some of the kindest people around. Stop looking at me like that! I'm really fine! I wonder where my group is. Well, no tours ever early, my friend. Uh, they weren't uh, even on time either. <laughs> uh, relax, Jay. Have, trying to have a good time. I, I would be if if I were with the group, knowing where I am and what I'm doing next. And hey, seriously, chill. <laughs> doesn't always follow your your little rules or plans or routines, my friend. I think our food is ready. I'll go get it. <sighs> uh, so, so, you've, you've heard a bit about me. I'm an orphan control freak with OCD about plans. What's your story? <laughs> well, Mr. Control Freak, my story is... Once upon a time, there was a perfect little girl who always dreamed of becoming a musician. <laughs> she sailed through life, success after success, and a, she's a local legend at the age of 20. <laughs> and she recently sold her thousandth album. Really? Congratulations! What, the, what genre of music do you play? How many instruments can you play? Is it like... Is it, slow down, Jay. I'm... I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, the, the music I only play is like a little keyboard in my um, my four by four meter apartment. I I like jazz, but no one really likes jazz, so who's gonna buy an album, right? <laughs> oh, well, I like jazz. In fact, I've been playing the bass guitar for eight years now. Oh, really? Gotcha. <laughs> no, not not really. But I have been talking about learning bass for about eight years now. I like you. Oh, hi, <laughs> kid. We're we're literally the same age. I'm 22. Yeah. I'm 20, and I literally have years and years of wisdom. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> what what wisdom you must have to try to caress. Innocent tourists into getting more lost than they already are. <laughs> tourists don't usually need help with that sort of thing. Uh... Okay, they're 11 minutes late now. Well, maybe they're skipping on you, Jay. Um, want to go do something while we wait? Um, there's a great little art shop up the street. Um, one of my friends works there. He speaks English. I think you guys would really get No! We can't just leave. Could we please try to find out how to call my tour guide? Otherwise, let's stay right here, and at noon, we'll try to get to the next place. Come on, Jay. How long will you be in France? Just the week. Stop calling me that. It's not and my... You're, you're just going to waste hours just sitting here waiting for some people to find you? At least try to enjoy yourself. While you're here, make the most of the situation. Have an adventure! <clears throat> You don't understand. Coming to France is my adventure. I don't need to plan out anything. It's the only thing I can be in control of. Maybe you're right, Catherine. I just have a hard time. Catherine, is this not the breakfast place? But this is the food good. I, I have a friend who, who bakes here. Um, you can meet her. This or him. isn't the right place. Yes, well, um, I promise I will help you find them. I just, I had to show you this little cafe first. 
The pastries are really great, aren't they? Catherine, take me to the correct restaurant, please. And let you waste your day seeing unnecessary things? Seeing things you could just Google pictures of any time. How about making friends? Well, I've met you, and look how that played out. Thank you ever so much. I can check that off my list. Please, let's go, or I'll find it myself. How about discovering something cool that you didn't oh. expect? You can't simply plan everything to the last minute and expect anything life-changing out of an experience. It is the unexpected situations and people you run into that... You will tell the people you love at home about them. I know you will. You won't forget this. Eating at the the wrong cafe with the crazy French girl trying to get you to loosen up a little. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I will always remember this. That's why they call them traumatic experiences, <laughs> isn't and, it? You know you're you're really funny when you're mad. Less polite, but more. Am I? Oh, I must be hysterical right now because I've just come to the realization that I let myself trust a random, crazy French girl who not only refuses to help me find where I'm supposed to be, but tricks me into following her on some sort of potential adventure. What is it about you? What is it about you that you're supposed to be... <sighs> What is it about being here that you were supposed to be? I thought it was obvious being in a wheelchair, I can't control a whole lot about my life. But if I can be very organized and plan and know what's going on all the time, at least people might think to themselves, wow, that disabled man really has his life together instead of feeling sorry for me all the time. If that makes you feel better, I do not feel any less sorry. Well, you're certainly the first person to ever try to give me a hard time as a joke. Either you're just a jerk, or you sincerely don't care about my chair. I really have no less respect for me. I also mean, I might also be a bit of a jerk. <laughs> You're the first stranger to ask about my life before asking about my chair, too. Thanks. I didn't expect to find someone like you. And I certainly didn't expect this. <laughs> Thank you.